this is a great privilege to be asked to be president of the IET. Um, stewardship is a word which comes to mind. I am a steward in a long line of stewards. I think the 150 year plus legacy is a bit daunting. Um, my task though is to be part of that team of presidents over years um, together uh, ensuring that the IET can serve engineering uh, and therefore help engineering serve society for another 150 years at least and hopefully many more. What inspires me about engineering as a sector as a whole is if you step back and think engineering is about taming science for the benefit of society um, and I think engineering today is a great privilege. We, we face significant challenges as society and in, in particular of course one talks about the energy transition that is a once in a couple of hundred years uh, sort of thing that is facing humanity and actually we have to make it happen in the next couple of decades to help humanity uh, have a future. Well, how significant is that? Um, of course, one wants to be part of that. It's very satisfying. And now and over the next few decades, I think that's a, a particularly wonderful time to be an engineer and to help make the world a, a safer and better place. When I see the phrase engineering a better world, what comes to mind is that it's about helping the world address serious societal issues going forward that are all around us today. Um, so health comes to mind, having enough food and water comes to mind, having enough energy comes to mind. Um, basically, it's about helping the world accommodate 8 billion plus people. Um, 70 odd years ago, we had 2 billion people on the planet. 8 billion people are going to do more stuff and use more stuff. So it's about helping those people to live better, more comfortable, peaceful lives, uh, and importantly, ensuring that we have a future for our human society for centuries or much further out into the future. Actually, look all around you. Um, it is all around us and it's been around us for centuries. Now, why? People say that's because what differentiates humans and enables us to thrive as a species is our ability to use tools uh, and to collaborate. And um, now we are learning, of course, that there are other species that uh, do that, but we tend to do it better than uh, all the other species. When I think about what that is, well, that is engineering. Uh, we've been doing it forever and we're still doing it. And today you have advances in things like communication, which have been underpinning the, the globalization trends. I'm sure you've heard me talk before at length about uh, the energy transition, and, and you'll hear me talk about more about that in future. Uh, certainly there's lots of that all around us. Um, today, applying engineering to medicine is, uh, is a growing field. Um, in my president's address, I'm going to talk about uh, a medical example which be transformational in democratizing um, some uh, medical breakthroughs, which uh, at the moment are, are really just not possible from a cost point of view, but engineering is going to make them possible, going to democratize that and save thousands and thousands of lives. Um, so uh, it's all around us and we don't have to look very far. The overarching challenge, I think, is about making engineering work in a business context. And that's so that we can actually afford to do the engineering we need to do to address the societal challenges and so on. So I think that's it. it it's making it affordable. Um, if I'm allowed a quick secondary one, then it, it's about skills. It's about attracting enough people into the profession and importantly about retaining them. Well, I've had a great time uh, doing engineering um, in my career. Um, my only regret is that I wish I was 20 and starting out again today because I do it all over again. Um, the next several generations will be instrumental to the future of humanity. It's, it's a sort of turning point or changing year uh, in the human story. 
you could say it's a bit like the Renaissance or a bit like the Industrial Revolution. These things come along every hundred years or so. And if you're starting today, your career coincides with one of those periods. Um, remember, of course, engineering is key to the future of our world. Uh, and that singles you out. Um, the timing, once in a hundred years, singles you out. And so if you take these together, the timing and your choice of career, you've been given a great privilege. So my advice is to enjoy it. Uh, like all privileges, it comes with a responsibility. Future generations are counting on you. So engineer wisely and good luck.